Hello everyone, this is chapter 9, part 5. We have been talking about types of labor market discrimination. We learned about employer discrimination. We learned about employee discrimination. Now we'll talk about a different type of discrimination, which is called customer discrimination. This is your consumers being discriminatory. So customer discrimination, basically here we have consumers, customers are being the source of discrimination. So let's say P is the actual price of a good or service that you sell, your customers buy. That's the actual price paid by customers. However, if they're discriminatory, they feel like they're paying P times 1 plus D. This is the utility adjusted price. For instance, imagine a discriminatory customer who doesn't want to buy a product from a minority group, okay? If customers discriminate, their perceived price of a good is utility adjusted with a discrimination coefficient. So that D is utility adjusted level. And when a firm cannot hide their minority workers that customers discriminate against, Customer discrimination can have a negative effect, adverse effect in the wages of that minority group. So D is the utility adjusted price uh, discrimination coefficient that adjusts your price. So in this example, again, majority group dislike purchasing from minorities. Feel like they feel like paying more. They, oh, I paid P dollars, but I felt like I paid more, right? This is the modeling. So quantity sold by minorities would go down, okay? So actually research shows that, an interesting research by Dr. Myers, shows that choice of TV newscasters reflect the racial composition of the town. So news anchors in Texas, for instance, we have high Mexican-American population. You will see many more Hispanic newscasters. In Chicago, you will see many more black newscasters. So your customers' uh, racial, ethnic composition can actually have impact on the workers' uh, racial, ethnic composition. So this is an example of customer discrimination. This is how it works. Price is P, but the customers feel like they're paying more, buying from the group they don't want to buy from. And then if you're an employer, you if you there's no way for you to hide your worker from your customers and you may be paying them less. Okay. In next part, we'll talk about statistical discrimination. I will see you there.